Welcome back. What do inner city butterfly gardens, a rural horse trail, and a database of American Revolution patriots have in common? Well, they represent some of the most community enhancing projects created by several exceptional Girl Scouts within the Girl Scouts of Connecticut. Here to tell us all about the annual Girl Scout Gold Award ceremony is Alicia Pagui Spearman, CEO of Girl Scouts of Connecticut, as well as one of the shining honorees, Jordana Treesman from Westport. Nice to be with both of you ladies. Thank you. It's Good honor. morning. It's so nice to be chatting with you. I love everything Girl Scouts, obviously the mission, what you do for girls across Connecticut and families, really. But let's hear from you. What is the Girl Scouts of Connecticut all about beyond the cookies? That's what we say. We are more than the cookies. <laughs> we build girls of confidence, courage, and character. You want your girl to be kind, to try new skills, to be a leader in her community have her join the Girl Scouts. That's what we're about. I love how much you really instill community service and giving back. I mean, that teaches you not only to be a member of the so of society, but a good person as well. Community service is so important, and you guys do a lot of projects all year. We do oh, a lot yeah. of projects all year, and that's what the Gold Awards are about. 34 young women across the state received the Gold Award. They didn't receive it, they actually earned it wow. by planning a project that's gonna be meaningful in their community, that's gonna be sustainable once they graduate and go to college, and that's what we are about, giving back to the community. And they're so creative. And before we talk to Jordana about your project, tell us about some of the other projects that were featured and honored and awarded. Right, they go across all uh, different categories. Some honor the veterans, some honor eating disorders, some honor mental health, like yours also did mental health. So there's just a variety. Uh, gardens, you know, eating healthy, really creative, whatever the individual communities in the various towns that we have, mm -hmm. whatever they want to feature or help. That's timely. What they, timely. Timely topics. Timely topics. Jordana, I'm so intrigued by your <laughs> project, and it has something to do with plants, Yeah, <laughs> which you've taught me something already in the quick commercial break when we were chatting just a little bit about it. Tell us about you, first of all, and your project. Congratulations, by Thank the way. Thank you so much. It's really great to be here. Um, so for my Girl, Girl Scout Gold Award, I chose to address mental health issues inside the schools with um, teachers and students by using the power of nature. So I brought in plants to a lot of my classrooms and I used surveys to record and see if there were improvements in student and teacher well-being. And why do plants have an impact on our mental health or our well-being? What did you find? So before I started the project, I did a lot of research on the nature and mental health connection. And I learned about this hypothesis, this idea called biophilia, which is our inherent desire to connect to nature. And that being with it kind of grounds us in a certain way. I also looked at a lot of different studies that showed that there was an improvement when it came to some sorts of mood and productivity when you brought in plants in nature. I believe it. You know, classrooms, like we can say office spaces, right? They can be intimidating or they can be dreary, not yeah. that exciting, right? You're stuck inside, windows maybe. So getting outside, we always know, is good for you, good for your mental health. So why not bring the outside in? Definitely. Right? That's sort of what you found. How has Girl Scouts been for you? I know you just graduated high school. Congratulations. By Thank the way, you. going to Wesleyan. Congratulations. Yes, That's Connecticut. Huge. <laughs> yes. Uh, what has it been like for you, though? Will you continue to give back to Girl Scouts of Connecticut? Yes. So I've been a Girl Scout for basically as long as I can remember, since I could even start um, selling the cookies, you know, all the classic Girl Scout stuff. But what really stood out to me it was the connection and the sisterhood I had. Um, by joining this community and knowing that all over the country I had fellow Girl Scouts like me that really understood the power of service and community and helping other people. And it really just taught me A, about the outdoors and mm. also just about community service and what it's like to be an active member of your community. Well, you are very well spoken. Is that mom in the audience? That is. is. That... Hi, mom. You must be so proud. She <laughs> is great. Quickly, before we had to break yes. here, how can people get involved if, you know, they're watching, they want their daughter, their niece to become a Girl Scout? They should definitely go to www.gsofct.org. That's our website. We want you to be a Girl Scout. We want you to be a volunteer. We want you to be a troop leader. Everyone can get involved and feel good. It's a great family activity. And thank you for what you do investing in these young ladies.